we well, finally man. made it. That was quite a drive to find this uh, this place right out of there. I know it was excellent selection again. I but know. Well, um, well, it was your idea. It says eat till you poop. Oh, eat till you pop. That's what it says. Oh, I forgot eat my glasses again. I know. Huh? <laughs> I'm ready. Let's just That's we'll just eat so much. Okay. Microbes. Yeah. Oh, what, what's this right here though? Well, I I don't know, but it's uh, I've never quite seen anything you know quite. Uh, oh, I get. Oh, wait, wait, hold up. Oh. Let me wash it down. I'm not sure what. Oh, oh, wait, person. This oh, wait, person. Really? Wait, person. Hey, yes. Excuse yeah. Me. Wait. What? But this this coffee. This, this this stuff tastes like mop water. Yeah, because it is. What, what? Why would you serve my partner? Here's some mop water. You know, duh, is cheaper. Whoa, that's the most disgusting thing I've ever heard of. Me too, and I'm totally offended by it. <laughs> You're offended? <laughs> well, if you think that's disgusting, <laughs> wait till you find out <laughs> what this tank really is. <laughs> what? 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 Wait, hold, what? 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 I know. I like yard sales because everything is cheap. You know, I really, really don't like garage sales because some people sell their old underwear. I like yard sales because I get to meet a lot of new people. Oh, hi! Oh, I hope you Hi! Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, I love yeah. this! I love when you come to my garage sale. I can make my toilet. Thank you. Yeah, hi. I Thank like you. people. <laughs> I like yard sales because I, uh, well, tell you the truth, I admire the flowers you could find here, you know? I don't like garage sales because sometimes there are spiders and the old boxes of junk. I like yard sales because I can talk the seller down to a, a, a cheaper price. You know, to be quite honest, I don't like garage sales because some people just seem to sell old, rusty junk. I don't like estate sales because there are usually haunted items from the owner themselves. Oh, man. Bruh. I think I'd rather go to a swap meet. Can you swap things there? Last time I went to a swap meet, I ended up with somebody else's spouse. I don't think that's the same thing. Excuse me, but do you have any money? No, what does a robot need with money? I need an oil change. Well, no, I'm not going to give you money. Hello, could you recommend a good dentist? W what does a robot need with a dentist? At night, I grind my gears. Oh boy, that was one too many shots. Excuse me, do you have any metal polish? Metal polish? Why, why, why would... No, I, I don't have any, but what, what do you need metal polish for? I have a date tonight. Good luck with that. Dude, do you have an MP3 player? Uh, why do you need an MP3 player for? I'd like to listen to heavy metal music. <laughs> Excuse me, 
Do you have any robot trail mix? What is robot trail mix? Nuts and bolts. Yeah, you're nuts. I'm just going to bolt out. I wonder why I don't have any friends. I love shopping at the big box store. Oh, I like that too. I buy six boxes of candy bars. Mm. Ooh, I like the samples. I eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner too there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I love their sales. Oh my gosh. Like, I will buy four cakes. Yeah, four cakes. Uh huh, four cakes. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. I get like 20 boxes of, of ketchup bottles, just cases and cases of ketchup bottles, and 30, 40 pounds of wieners, you know, to go along with it. <laughs> I like to deal on a six pack of computers for a small price. You know what? I'm absolutely positively so happy to be a part of the big box club because bulk is great <laughs> yes you know I buy so much stuff there you know I have to store some of it up on my roof oh yeah man I bought like 70 pairs of pants for the price of one Big box, big box, yeah, 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 big box, big box, yeah, 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 big box, big box, big box, go big box, big box rules. Halt, who goes there? I'm Ralph Ryder, doer of the undone, sayer of the unsaid. Hey, you could at least tell me why I'm in jail. You're Ralph Ryder. That's it? That's all we need. Don't worry, though. You'll be out in the morning. Really? We're gonna hang you. What? Why? We need the cell you're in. Jail overcrowding and all. You understand. What if I don't understand? It doesn't matter. I figured as much. You figured right. Ralph Ryder, you are charged with the crime of being you. That's a crime? It is around here. Say hello to <coughs> Mr. Necktie. Oh, no thank you. I don't wear neckties. Wait, don't hang him. Um, I think you should listen to this lady. He's the father of my 12 children. He owes me daddy money. That necktie is looking better by the minute. My children will starve without child support. I'll starve if I give you child support. I guess there is something worse than death for you. Ralph Ryder, you are hereby sentenced to a lifetime of daddy money payments. What if they aren't my kids? Well, then you don't have to pay. Oh, well, they aren't my kids. It's not that easy. You have to prove it. There's always a catch. You will undergo a painful cavity search and DNA test. We'll have the results in three days. Plenty of time for me to get out of here. What? What was that? Um, I said, I love cavity searches. Me too. Maybe I'll join you. In reviewing the results of the paternity test, it shows you are not the daddy of these rugrats. Oh, what a relief. Here's your necktie. Wait, you can't hang him. He owes us 1.2 million in back taxes. Here we go again. Hello, and welcome again to the HIST. 
Martinini show. You know, I'm going to talk to the producers. I want more money for doing my show. Yeah, and I want more money for being a guest. You shouldn't get paid. It's an honor to be on this show. And that is what you think. You know, you don't even give us any snacks. But, but I don't share my mice with anyone. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't eat mice for a snack. No, he doesn't. You don't have good manners with me. Hiss! Uh, well, you won't pay us for our trouble to even get here. You're both in a lot of trouble. I deserve a raise for even putting up with you. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I, I'm leaving. I'm just, I'm and just you know leaving. What? I think me too, because maybe there's a power show that we can like be on or something. Good riddance! I don't know how these people get in here in the first place. My resolution for this year is to put my shoes on the right feet. This year I'm going to help the animals and adopt 30 cats from the shelter. You know, I just want to chew gum instead of tobacco. I'm going to stop screaming at my tiger once and for all. This year, I'm, I'm not going to pop any more bubble wrap <laughs> in front of my mailman. He hates that. <laughs> gotcha, Jack. <laughs> I want to eat six bananas a day for the rest of my life. To stay healthy. I know this year I'll become a lottery and <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. This year I'll play the lottery and become a millionaire. I have two New Year's resolutions this year. One is to improve my memory. Yeah, that sounds great. So what's the second one? Second what? I really like big houses. So my resolve this year is I'm gonna move into the White House. Yeah. Well, how, how do you know the president won't mind you moving into the White House? Well, I got a plan set, you see. <clears throat> I'm gonna hide behind the curtains until they go on vacation. I resolve not to talk to any of you anymore. I predict people are going to throw water balloons at people who disagree with them. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I was wanting to know if you could tell me about my future. I predict you will grow older and your hair will become gray. <clears throat> tell me something I don't know. If you don't like my predictions, you can go elsewhere. Okay, but I predict you'll go out of business. I predict I'll be in business until the rent is due. <laughs> Do I have good things in my future? I predict that you will be given coupons to save you money at the store. I want silver and gold. I see silver and gold, but only in your teeth. You're a quack. I'm ducking out of here. Away with you. Goodbye. <sighs> Oh my gosh. How do, ma'am? How do? Hello. What can I do for you? Well, let me get right to it here. I, I need to know, will I, will I be meeting the person of my dreams one of these days? 
I see you marrying someone of your dreams, but only if you have nightmares. Nightmares? You know, I, 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 I don't like you. I, I, I don't like you at all. I think I'll, I'm gonna go date my cousin. Huh, huh, huh. Everyone is so demanding. I tell them their future, but they don't want to hear it. Um. Ma'am? Hi. So, um, I have a bit of a problem. Can, can you tell me where I lost my wallet? Give me some money and I will consult my crystal ball. <laughs> About that, all of my money is in my wallet. Then leave me. I do not work for free. You know what? I'm just going to look for my wallet. Yes, do that and come back when you find it. Yeah, right. In your dreams. I'm gonna go buy a Ouija board instead of coming back to you, okay? A, a Ouija board? Well, well, I never! You know, it's rained so much, I have ants in my house. They come inside till they don't drown. Oh, I don't like how they take over. I, I caught them little ants watching the telly yesterday. Oh, disturbing. <laughs> you know, me whole loaf of bread disappeared. I think them little buggers got it too. Where? I think them little buggers made toast while they were here. I found crumbs all over the kitchen. I put out several types of ant traps and they only went for the ones with the expensive poison. You know, those ants are little, little snobbish little buggers. I'll be camping and, you know, enjoy myself. And next thing you know, they come over and eat all my s'mores. Not cool. Oh, let's kill them all. Oh, bugger. We're going to have to get a whole bunch of anteaters. I'm going to start an anteater farm. Oi, I really like that idea. Don't you know? I don't want to go to school. It's way too far away. And they force you to sit in these desks and they're too small. I don't get enough bathroom breaks. And the lunches are terrible. I want shrimp and lobster. And they serve me spaghetti. Yuck. <laughs> I want a three-hour recess. Why can't I have a three-hour recess? I don't want to learn anything. I just want to get my own way and not be forced to behave myself. But nobody cares about that. Nobody cares about me. It's so unfair. <laughs> <laughs> hey there! Why are you ignoring me? Um, I don't have any holiday cards right now. But what about paying your bills? Oh, <laughs> I don't pay my bills. You don't pay your bills? Why don't you pay your bills? How can I pay my bills when I don't have any stamps? Well, you know, all you have to do is just go to the post office and get some. Oh, oh you're just going there to talk to the bigger mailboxes. Well, I do think they're not as nosy as you. I'm not nosy. I'm just concerned. No, no, no. You just don't want the post office to remove you. Yeah, well, I've been rocking this corner for 50 years. Now I want to keep on a bopping. Yeah, well, sometimes changes are a good thing. Well, you need to change and start paying your bills. Well, maybe I'll pay my bills online, and I'll never have to deal with you. But computers are nosier than me. They want passwords and usernames. Yeah, but I think computers are more efficient. Yeah, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but they get viruses. I'll never get sick. <laughs> You're sick in the head. Yeah, well, the next time you try to mail something here, I won't let you. 
Yeah, what? I'm not going to be coming around here anymore. Huh? You know, and uh, yeah, with uh, with that kind of attitude, who wants to be abused by any mailbox like you? Go ahead, leave. I'll make new friends. Other people would appreciate me. Yeah, I hope you retire. Ha ha ha! I'm still youthful, you see. Ha ha ha! I'll never retire. Ha 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 ha!